Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I wanted to point out that we're really easy to find on YouTube. Just type in Aspen Now, and that's with two A's on the front. Um, we're up to, uh, let's see here, it says 125 subscribers. On my analytics page, it said 132, so I'm not sure if it takes time to update. But just want to thank you, all you subscribers, for um, subscribing. And remember, my goal that I stated in a previous segment was to get up to 1,000 by next month. So if you could help me out, um, it helps maintain a roof over my head and uh, puts uh, food on the table, so to speak. So I'd really appreciate that. Want to note that we have some playlists here. Uh, ServiceNow SLA videos is one. Um, also did one on incident alert management in Kingston and ServiceNow Kingston. So we're starting to build out those uh, playlists for you. If you want to run them in the background, uh, you know, when you're brushing your teeth in the morning or getting ready for work, you know, you can listen to me um, yammer on about ServiceNow stuff. Um, we're up to 16,000 minutes almost, uh, watch time and 4,300 views and change. Uh, nice little chart here, lower left to upper right. So once again, thank you. Uh, this is me. If you want to connect with me on LinkedIn, I'd be more than happy to, uh, to connect with you. Um, I know that there are a lot of people that are looking for work or a lot of recruiters out there that want to connect with people who know ServiceNow. Um, and also, I am available right now, so um, if you're looking for someone, uh, I'm a pretty good project manager, I like to say. Uh, this is the uh, Facebook page that I've created where I will distribute content also or links to the, the YouTube segments. And today, we're going to be talking about the SysID, which is pretty simple concept if you think about it. Um, it's basically this gobbledygook ID alphanumeric that's assigned to, it's 32 characters, and it's assigned to every record um, that goes into the instance. Um, and I'm just going to show you an easy way to locate it and, um, or a couple of different ways to locate it and how to copy it. So uh, again, yeah, we're, we're uh, dedicated to providing low-code, no-code solutions, so this is going to be really simple today. So um, we have our list here. I'm just using the incidents list, and I want to find what the sys ID is for one record. So I'm going to, if you're on a Mac, you're going to double click. Um, if you're on a PC, you're going to right click, and then you're going to come down here, and you're going to go to copy sys ID, and it's copied to the clipboard. So if you wanted to, you could put it in here um, and, and search on it that way if you want to, but you probably want to have that uh, list or that column set up, which I'm going to show you in just a second. So that's one way to find the sys ID. Now, let's say we clicked on the record and we went to the record. Now we would just do the same thing, right click, scroll all the way down, copy sys ID is right here. Now I'm an admin, so in just one second I'm going to impersonate another user that's a non-admin. I'm going to show you what the menu looks like. Okay, so let's see how we can do it in a list form because maybe we want more than one sys ID. So what I'm going to do is search for the column and I'm going to add it. So we'll add it right now. And while our list is loading, um, well, it's moving really fast today. Okay, great. Um, so here's uh, our sys ID column. So we can see them all here in a group if we want to. And we could even search on it. Uh, let's see here. Let's go to sys ID. Uh, let's search that one. And there you go. Now see here, uh, this is one of the issues with the filter. It's just going to say greater than. So one thing you're going to want to do is either put down like contains or is. Is is probably the best one, right? You want to be as specific as you can be. Hit run. And let's see if, we, if it finds it. Did it not find it? Hold on here. Let's do that one more time. Run. Okay, excellent. So we found our one sys ID. And uh, yeah, we'll move over and uh, oh, let's see if we wanted to copy it from here. We could do it that way too. Um, now, let's impersonate good old Abe Lincoln. So we'll move over and take a look and see how Abe, the non-admin, uh, views the list. So I'm going to do an incident.list here. And hopefully it pulls up today. Um, taking a little bit of time here for Abe. Okay, so we're going to right click or double click if you're on, not double click, but click with, with two fingers. If you do a two finger click with a Mac, um, let's see here, you have your copy URL. Now what that does is, if we paste it up here, 
Now you'll see here, sysid. So here's another way you could do it too, just a normal non-admin. So that's one way to do it too. Um, let's take a look here, how that compares. So we're gonna personalize our list. We're gonna add it for good old Abe. And then let's see uh, what the difference is. So here we have our sysid also. So I'm going to copy the URL. I'm going to put it up here. And now let's compare this, 965. OK. So it looks like here, from here on, so this 3D doesn't count, because this is actually 34 characters um, I counted out. So and I'll let you rewind if you want to count those yourself. Um, but yeah, we could just put it right in there. And of course, it's going to do greater than by default. So you probably want to set up your list filter to say is on that. Otherwise, you're going to get back a whole bunch there. Um, so we'll click Run. And is it coming up? I don't know if it's coming up. There we go. So now let's go into the record and see how uh, Abe is able to view this. Oops, a little bit too quickly there. So again, we have a copy URL. So that'll be the difference if you're an admin or a non-admin and you want to get um, the sysid. So that's it for today. Again, I'm Jason Miller, with founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we've just unlocked the power of ServiceNow. Thank you and have a great day.